I went to Gold Star and I, and I uh, met the musicians that played for uh, Phil Spector, and I immediately had Steve Douglas start booking, the, you know, the, the re they're called the regulars, the wrecking crew. They started booking them for me in my studio in Western. Session players were brought in by producers for a variety of reasons. In fact, most of the mid-1960s Beach Boys backing tracks didn't feature any of the Beach Boys. It was Brian Wilson's decision to push the music to another level. And to do that, he enlisted the best of L.A. We were on the road 150 days a year. Brian was getting a little bit more complex in his, in his arrangements. And it just got to be too, too difficult to, to, to coordinate our itineraries. And that's when the wrecking crew stepped in. When I heard that some of the guys sat in for some of the Beach Boys, that surprised me. But in truth, at that point, the Beach Boys were Brian Wilson. He created it all. He was very self-assured, very much in control. He brought in the charts that he wrote himself. And uh, most of the time, I mean, the uh, music was, was in, entirely his. I mean, there were very few times that we made up licks on his stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He, he had in his head what he wanted. 